And I saw Trump rising up. And then I saw an attempt on his life. Uh, that w the, This bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum, eardrum. And I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time. Frame. So, hey, this was filmed back in March earlier this year. I'm not sure when this guy actually had the prophecy given to him by God, if you believe in that type of thing. But it's really about what's coming next, what his actual full prophecy was for a coming downturn in the economy, a big downturn in the economy. So if you want to profit from that type of thing, if you're into business and investing and being prepared for this type of downturn, economic event, disaster, then hey, check it out. Because the Lord told me, he said, I am not done with America. Amen. He said, there's going to be a new wave of patriotism coming out. And that's whenever I saw Trump and I saw, the, I saw a, a red wave coming out of um, Michigan. And then I saw Oklahoma and there was embers of people and they were all on um, these, these, they had torches all throughout Oklahoma and they were raising up these torches that looked like fire. And they were bringing forth a new patriotism upon the nation. And it was coming, it was being birthed and it just kept spreading like fire all throughout America all throughout and I saw Trump rising up and then I saw an attempt on his life uh, that w the, this bullet flew by his ear and it came so close to his head that it busted his drum eardrum and I saw um, he was he fell to his knees during this time frame and he started worshiping the Lord he got radically born again during this time frame I'm talking People say he's saved now, but he becomes really on fire for Jesus, for what I saw coming. And then I saw him winning uh, the election uh, through uh, the patriots coming out and voting. And then, and then, and then there will be a great economy crash. Yeah. I saw they had a great economy that. plan, a crash, yeah. worse than the, uh, the uh, Great Depression. And the Lord warned me about this. It would be a great dark time. So really, the question here is if it's true, if there is something which is going to go down, maybe sort of January, February, early next year, 2025, what is it that you need to do? Is it going to destroy Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, the stock market, the housing market? what is most likely to happen and what can you do about it to protect yourself and if not actually make a whole ton of money through that sort of economic downturn. Luckily for you guys, I've downloaded a whole ton of price information so that you don't have to do this yourself. And you know, I've just downloaded just shed loads of data to go through it and work out exactly what the situation is right now. But before I go into the sort of what it is that you need to do to prepare and what to invest in, what to stay away from and all that type of thing, let's just think about, is this actually possible? Could this actually happen? Well, I asked ChatGPT questions surrounding this right here. So this is the shift away from the US dollar is happening in real time. This is Yahoo Finance, by the way, and investors must be ready. So this is all about basically the OPEC nations, Saudi Arabia, etc., moving away from using US dollars and starting to use Chinese yuan as their main currency instead. Now, would that have an effect of like, the dollar losing half of its value near enough overnight. Well, ChatGPT says it is indeed possible. However, unlikely because what ChatGPT thinks is this will happen over a series of time. It's not all going to happen all at once. So there should be ways around it. However, let's be honest, you know, the world is not a stable place right now. We have everything going on in Israel and Gaza. And if somebody like Trump was to get back into the White House, He's probably going to have a quite a hard stance with Israel against Iran and all the, those that are currently attacking Israel. And that's probably not going to go down well with the Middle East and a lot of those oil producing nations. NATO cannot be allowed to continue its partnership with Israel and quote, attempts at cooperation with Israel within NATO will not be approved by Turkey. So they may well retaliate with something like ditching the dollar, going over to trade in using Chinese Yuan instead, which could then bring about this in actual real life. This could actually happen right now. And if it does, you could make a fortune. So I've done a bunch of numbers and I'm gonna go through with you some of the charts so that you can see exactly what we're looking at. So right here, 
I think we'll get to first. We're talking about the UK housing market. Again, it's the same in the US really pretty much. So if you price the UK housing market in gold instead of you know the currency pounds the paper money in a nutshell ever since 1952 the average price for a uk house in gold ounces of gold you know the coins the average price would have been about 250 ounces however as you can see right now it's really really low so it did spike up the big spike you can see was 2004 and then it was coming down which would have then signaled that there was a problem with the housing market i mean why did it spike up so much in the first place so this chart alone would have been a clear sign that housing was in a bubble as you can see right now housing is definitely not in a bubble housing is looking very very cheap at just 150 ounces of gold right now for the average price in the uk the rents in the uk are the cheapest that they've ever been in recorded history from all of the recordings that I can find myself. Whereas historically, yields have always been around sort of 20 to 25% on gross rental yields. Right now in the UK, because rents haven't been rising as fast as the housing market, rents are really, really low at just a 10% yield, as you can see on this chart right here. So it is not a good time to be a landlord. You're not going to make as much money as you historically would have made as a landlord. In the event that we do see something catastrophic happen economically in the US and then obviously carry on over here in the UK, buying a house isn't particularly good for rental income right now. However, according to ChatGPT and a bit of knowledge, you may be aware that there's going to be a lot more international people buying property in the UK and in the US because it's like a run to safety because they don't want their dollars. The currencies may also be getting impacted and they just want to turn a relatively large amount of money into something real, like real estate. Yeah, so that tends to happen. This is why back in 2008, we didn't really see a, the prices fall in property. So if you see this chart here, you can see this crossover point right here. This is 2008. So that was the financial crisis and you saw gold, which is the yellow line, go all the way up and it's just kept on going. Okay, this blue line here, this is house prices and house prices never really recovered. So from all the way back here, which is just after the war, house prices were rising all the way. You can see that the green line here is rent. So for a long time, both rents and house prices were rising in tandem. However, from about 1995, uh, the housing market just went up and up and up. And when 2008 happened, rather than the housing market coming down to sort of get back into balance with rents, all that happened was a bunch of international investors started investing in London and other big cities, you know, guys from like China, Saudi Arabia, Australia, people with money. And they basically kept the housing market high through that down period. You can see here it just sort of went flat for a few years before starting to go up again. Rents, however, the red line that you can see here. Um, is the average wage, the average salary here in the UK. And you can see that basically the rents just follow the average salary. I mean, you can't put up the rent if people can't afford to pay it. So unfortunately, you know, rents have stayed low despite the high house price. And in a nutshell, guys, if you do want to invest in real estate, it is a good fair option. And I think the value of that real estate is at least going to hold its value over that period and you will get some rental income it's not going to be fantastic particularly if there is a downturn in the economy people are going to lose their jobs people are going to be struggling to pay the rent so you may see them yields those historic low yields of just 10 percent maybe drop to five percent it's going to be pretty tough on everybody but perhaps a little bit less tough on people holding Bitcoin. So Bitcoin has been roaring for the last few years. On this chart over here, you can see the yellow line, which is Bitcoin, obviously. That's why it's going up so fast. The blue line is housing. The red is the stock market. And then down below, I think the green one is rent. So how much people are paying in rent. You can see rents obviously not going up, which is also the wages. Uh, stocks are doing a little bit better, so you could invest in stocks, perhaps, could you? But absolutely, according to me 
and also ChatGPT, uh, cryptocurrency is going to be one of the major safe haven assets alongside gold. However, holding all crypto could be a little bit risky if there are regulations which come out as they do in these type of times, which could completely outlaw it, just like they've outlawed owning Bitcoin in China. And uh, it could happen in America for sure during such a period. I certainly hope it doesn't. But you might want to diversify just in case. And something that you could do is obviously stocks. Now, you don't want to buy just any old stocks. You want to buy what they call defensive stocks. So stocks like utilities, household staples, food, the sort of things that you have to buy, whether it's good times or bad, you know, so that those companies, although they may not grow that much, you should be able to get some dividends out of them and also to avoid US stocks, which is crazy because most people buy US stocks, but you want to buy ones from other countries, maybe in, in Asia. So defensive stocks, real estate and crypto gold, possibly some bonds as well. And talking about bonds, we'll probably do another video on that soon because there is some shocking stuff going on in the bond market that you really need to understand, which is a huge flag. However, if you're looking for a great cryptocurrency project to invest in during that type of time, something which people will absolutely be investing in, which is AI, then check out this video right here where I explain one of the very best AI projects which I've found on the market right now, which people have been putting a lot of cash into, even though it has taken a little bit of a dip recently, which you could take advantage of. That dip is purely because of the dip in Bitcoin that we've had recently. So the whole market has had a bit of a dip, but this coin is one you want to be buying.